Well, hello, my YouTube friends and family. So, I'm still doing sales book on the shelf. My store is Midna's Bookstore and more at Facebook. I can do PayPal or money orders, but it has to clear before the books are mailed. And today, I am going to do a new shelf. We have been doing the action and suspense, which is actually a variety. Um, just to clarify myself, I'm kind of taking you guys around my store and what's in it. Everything's easy to find. I am not the library, so I don't have like a real defined section. Like anything that's on the edge of your seat, who done it, true story, crime stories. Um, sci-fi that's kind of thriller types all of its under action and suspense i just put it in one area my self-help and all that and autobiographies are all under educational because to me it is educational so i keep it simple so people can come right into the store they can go right to the shelves and look at them and there's only like one shelf and uh, bookcase or one shelf per category so it's real easy to find my stuff because it's a small store which kind of is nice because a lot of elderly folks so they get overwhelmed when they're in like a big warehouse type so on with the books of the day so this book is called heaven sent by erica spindler and these books are actually five for a dollar so that makes them 20 cents each so it makes it nice for walk-ins. Now these ones here have more of an aged look. So it kind of gives it, you know, that character. But I make them cheaper on the conditions of the books. This one here actually has three love stories. The Persistent Suitor, suitor Hopeless Love, More Than a Woman Could Want. So this is a three-in-one novel. And... The Persistent Suitor is Gaddius, The Hopeless Love is Lockwood, and More Than a Woman Could Want is by author with the last name Garrison. Peggy Gaddis is the first one. Let's see if we can get some stuff in it. This is what the book looks like. And this is how thick it is, because it's got three-in-one stories. Like I said, the pages are aged. There's no writing. The stories are here. All the pages are here because I check through every single one of my books. And I clean them up and do all that happy stuff. And I go through every single one of them. I don't know why it didn't list the full names of the authors in the beginning. Usually it does, but this one didn't. So let me see here if I can get all three authors. The second one is Hopeless Love by Ethel Lockwood. There's the second book. And then the third, since I have to look it up, is More Than a Woman Could Want by Joan Garrison. Because I want you guys to know who the authors are, so... There you go. Book two. Book three is Bitter Harvest by Morton J. Golding. And this is what it looks like. Next we have Summer Storm by Catherine Hart. This is what this book looks like. The next book we have is a love sweat book, Once Upon a Time, What Dreams May Come by Kay Hooper. This book here is another love swept. It's called Darling Deceiver by Lori Copeland. And I will have the ISBN numbers and the authors and the titles and all that linked below in the description bar when I post the video. Holiday Inn, which is, I think, yeah, multiple stories here too. You have Love's Light by Linda Jones, The Christmas Pearls by Linda Maddell, Rachel's Hero by Deborah Dyer, Home for Christmas by Ruth Ryan Langan. I hope I'm pronouncing these names right, but... There's that book. 
looks like a Christmas storybook. This one here is An Unwilling Conquest by Stephanie Lawrence. And then this one here is another Love Swept. It's Gorgeous by Tanya Wood. This book here is I Love Swept. It's Penthouse Sweep by Sondra Chasten. Or Chasten. And then this one here is Ashes in the Wind by Kathleen Woodowis. I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. This is what the book looks like. Then we have Elena. By Marilyn Granback. And this is the author. And the book. This one here is a really good book. The Smoke Jumper by Nicholas Evans. This was a great story. And because I read this one, I missed the book, reading the book of the day. So if I recognize one, I might just go ahead and read the synopsis. So the smoke jumper, his name is Connor Ford, and he falls like an angel of mercy from the sky, braving the flames to save the woman he loves but knows he cannot have. For Julia Bishop is a partner of his best friend and fellow smoke jumper, Ed Tully. Julia loves them both until a fiery tragedy on Montana Snake Mountain forces her to choose between them and burns a brain on all their hearts. In the wake of the fire, Connor embarks on a harrowing journey to the edge of a human experience, traveling the world's worst wars and disasters to take photographs that find him fame, but never happiness. Reckless of a life he no longer wants, again and again he dares death to take him until another fateful day on another continent he must walk through fire once more. So this is a good book, guys. Okay. This one here is Dark Side of Love by Peggy Becho, Becco, Becco, I don't know. <laughs> this one here is Never Go Back by Margaret Pargatier. And I'm trying to raise $200 to go into the backpack program for kids, which is called Friday Friends here, so... Some money that gets contributed, that's where it'll go. This book here is So Speak the Heart by Johanna Lindsay. She writes good books, too. This one here is Hardigwin Presents The Honey is Bitter by Violet Winspear. And then this book here is Return to Fire Island. Island by Bert Hirschfeld. So that's what this book looks like. This one here is The Angry Man by Joyce Dingwell. And this one here is Sweet Revenge by Nora Roberts. So this is the first 20 books off of that shelf. Everything will be listed below. Get in touch with me if you're interested in this bookstore and more on Facebook.com and my messenger. Bye. And thanks for watching.